going to review the TL500 and TL700 torque limiters. We'll cover the assembly and proper setup procedure to obtain a given foot-pound of torque. The components of the torque limiter are as follows. The hub, the pressure plates, the friction discs, the bushing, the sprocket, the spring, the spring retainer, the adjusting nut, adjusting nuts screws. Okay, we're going to start by assembling the torque limiter. This will normally come completed from the factory, but today we're going to show you the detail of how it goes together and some of the important things to watch for while assembling. So we're going to take the hub and first slide one of the pressure plates on there. Then a friction disc. And then the bushing. One key thing to remember with the bushing is the bushing needs to be narrower than the thickness of the sprocket that you're going to put on there so that the friction discs come in contact with the sprocket face and not the bushing. If they come in contact with the bushing first, then you'll never reach the sprocket and you won't get the breaking effect. The bushing on there. sprocket, then the other friction disc, the other pressure plate, the spring, the spring retainer with the lip down, and then thread the adjusting this diameter right here on the bottom of the adjusting nut is key that has to slide inside the spring retainer and you'll feel it drop in there. The other thing to note here is the adjusting nut screws should be backed out all the way so that they're not sticking out below the bottom of that face uh, and we'll tighten those up in a later step. So we're going to thread that on there like this. And you'll be able to feel when you get inside that lip there. And then bring it down and hand tighten it. Now we're going to set the torque limiter to a specific foot pound of torque. There's literature posted on the Titan website that can be referenced to give specific information on the ranges of torque capability for each torque limiter. Today we're going to be setting this particular torque limiter to 90 foot-pounds of torque. The first thing to do is make sure that all the adjustment nut screws are loose. Make sure they're not hitting that spring retainer. This is already just hand tight on here. Then we're going to take a paint marker and just mark the hub and the spring retainer to give ourselves a reference point. We're going to back that nut, the adjusting nut off, one and a half full turns. That's one and a half. And then we're going to tighten down the adjusting nut screws. And then take a half inch wrench by alternating on each one, bottom those screws all the way out. There, and at that tension now it'll take 90 foot-pounds of torque before that sprocket starts to slide inside that brake. So the TL500 and TL700 torque limiters are built exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is the 500s are the lighter duty and the 700s the more heavy duty. Um, the reference material that I mentioned earlier in the video will show you uh, the, the ranges of torque settings for each torque limiter, but the, the procedure for putting them together, the components, and the procedure for setting the torque are identical. 
it's just different numbers that you're using off the reference table.